Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. So I had an interesting thought. Well, kind of yesterday I was talking to my husband about it. Um, I forgot what topic we were on per se, but we were basically, I was basically expressing how everything in life seems to always revolve around sex. I don't mean that in, in the generic term when I say everybody's constantly thinking about sex. Oh yeah, that is true, but that's not what I'm getting at. What I mean is that um, everything manifests in a sexual manner. Everything seems to manifest in a sexual manner. And by that I mean when you go through trauma. So whether you go through trauma or not. Things just somehow just still end up being about sex. For example, okay, y'all know my story. Yeah, that's pretty obvious that I would be bisexual and everything else would, you know, I would be poly and all other stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Because of trauma. Now, think about even if you have not been through trauma, like, let's say you're just a regular person and you've been through, like, um, psychological trauma or emotional trauma, you know, those things often manifest as sexual also. And I find that really weird. You know, I find that really weird. But, like I said, I was talking to my husband about how people do things revolving around sex because of other issues that they have. It might not have even been sexual abuse. It might be something else. It might be the fact that um, it might be a woman who ended up a lesbian because her mom didn't pay her any attention or her mom wasn't around or her mom died or something like that. You know, a boy, he could end up gay because his dad wasn't around and, you know, there's something he's lacking which makes him gay. He's looking for someone who was supposed to be his dad and that's what he's looking for in a relationship, you know? Things like that do manifest. I know I kind of talk about that another t in another video, but not along this route. I'm saying that it's just weird how everything leads back to sex. Everything manifests. Not, not everything. I wouldn't say completely manifests, but Everything seems to revolve around sex, and of course, that's not really a good thing. It's not. Because, of course, everyone thinks about sex. I mean, of course, why not? But, you know, it can be kind of bad that everything revolves around sex. Everything in this world, because, of course, sex, that's where life comes from. And, you know, it's one of the most powerful energies that exists in this universe. It literally is because it's supposed to create life so um i don't know i don't know the point that i'm getting at here i just felt like talking about this you know super early in the morning i'm sleepy and i'm fixing breakfast for the kids and whatnot but i just wanted to kind of mention that it's really interesting sometimes you have to really look deep into your life and figure out why you want things figure out why you desire certain sexual acts you know like people who are into BDSM type things and they haven't been through abuse you have to wonder why people are into BDSM you have to wonder why people like bondage during sex and people like being spanked during sex and being tied up and all that other stuff you have to wonder what kind of trauma caused that if it was even trauma at all is it a generational trauma is it like, um, is it like a past life thing? If you believe in past lives, perhaps you've been, you've been through that type of trauma in a past life and you don't know it, you know? You've been through something that leads you to want something sexually that's kind of considered abnormal, I guess. But it happens, you know? There, there are all kinds of sexual kinks out there, sexual fetishes and things that people want. And again, it all leads back to sex. Which, like I said, is so strange because 
you might not you might not be able to pinpoint the trauma or it might just be that one little psychological issue you had as a child that manifested into how you act right now you know um I mean, it's just a really interesting topic i need to research more about that kind of thing and um pay attention to your sexual kinks and fetishes pay attention to what you like sexually and if you don't agree with what you like sexually or you don't know why you like that particular thing maybe go deep into your life maybe dig deeper and figure out why you like that kind of thing you know like i said everybody has some kind of fetish everybody has some kind of something or some kind of sexual preference preference and if you don't know why you have that preference perhaps you have to do a little deeper and figure out why even if you don't remember yourself being abused you don't remember being hurt in any kind of way it's still probably there you know it's probably subconscious like i said it could just be that one little thing that someone did to you when you were a child or you know a couple of things that someone did that you're unaware of if it's not that, then it's generational or it's from a past life because we don't know what we carry from our past lives. We don't know how much of our memories we have and how they manifest in our current lives. We don't fully know. What the hell, kids? So again, if you don't like, understand your sexual fetishes and your sexual desires, just try digging deeper. Is there something is there something that made you want that particular thing and yeah like I said it's, it's just wild to me how everything everything manifests sexually and that's not always a good thing because you know this world is all as sex crazy as it is and people make a lot of bad decisions majority of bad decisions that humans make are based on sex we already know this and it's not a good thing so if we can kind of prevent that if we can kind of see where we're coming from learn more about ourselves and kind of prevent that we can keep ourselves from making sexual mistakes you know what I mean and we've all got to work on that we've got to prevent ourselves from making sexual mistakes even me you know I haven't been with a woman yet I've only been with my husband forever <laughs> but I'm constantly trying to prevent myself from doing something stupid with a woman that I know doesn't care about me but in the meantime, it's like, damn, you know, I want it so bad because of my lack of female companionship, my lack of genuine female relationships that I just keep wanting a woman. I want keep wanting to be with a woman sexually, but I have to be aware of that. I have to be careful that I don't run off and do anything stupid. A lot of times it's harder than it seems because the desire gets really bad really strong it's really strong and I shouldn't be looking for a sister wife right now I really shouldn't because there's so much going on in my life um that's way more important I really should not be hunting for a sister wife but I still am you know try not to be desperate <laughs> but you know again I cannot afford to make any sexual mistakes you know I have kids and I'm married and again I'm constantly reevaluating why I want certain things, why I desire certain things, and how can I help make these things better, if possible. You know, that's just what I'm constantly thinking about. So, I just want to share that this morning. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little message. I think that's all I'm going to say right now. Yeah, just think about why you desire certain things. Yeah. It's always good to dig deeper anyway, so why not? Anyway, I got this cream of wheat here. I made it for everybody. I want to doctor it up with some sugar in it, blah, blah, blah. Get my day started. I have to homeschool today, so yeah, I'm going to be busy. I'm trying to wake myself up. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys... We're having a great day so far. A great day, second hour, month, minute, all that jazz. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know your experiences. And blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching. <laughs>